family members, friends, colleagues. Welcome to a long anticipated opportunity to gather together and celebrate the accomplishments of the graduates of the Department of Psychology and Neuroscience. Good afternoon, sunshines. Hi, I'm Dr. Jen Stratford, and I'll be your MC today. It is our pleasure to honor the fall 2023 graduates from our department. We're so glad you could be here with us. Before we start, however, just a quick reminder to please silence all cell phones during the ceremony. Today is truly a time to celebrate. In fact, we have quite the show planned for you. There's excitement, there's drama, and much rejoicing, all wrapped up in these spiffy robes. It's like a Taylor Swift concert, with slightly less singing or glitter. Before we begin, I also want to give a special shout out that we are fortunate enough to have Dr. Irene Blair, who's the interim dean of the Natural Sciences Division of the College of Arts and Sciences. Will you please give Dr. Blair a round of applause? As we reflect today, some of you will view your time at CU Boulder with a lavender haze. The first enchanted time you saw the snow falling on the flat irons in your cardigan. That time you watched the sunrise of the amphitheater at Flagstaff Mountain, or took a much need, needed study break at high, let's try again, let me try again, reset. Uh, that time you, you watched the sunrise at the amphitheater at Flagstaff Mountain, or took a much needed study break hike at Chautauqua. Maybe even when you and your friends celebrated Coach Prime's first win, which left you feeling like you were 22. These experiences form an invisible stream that connects you to this time and this place, which slowly becomes folklore as these memories replay in your mind evermore. Yes, those are Taylor Swift lyrics. <laughs> However, as you know all too well, human connection is vital for our health and well-being, and that is especially true for our folks in the department who study such phenomena. So graduates, I want to give you a chance to thank your social support system, your parents, family members, and friends who are here today, all those important people who helped you jump headfirst fearless into finding your first class in the Munzinger Dungeon, told you to shake it off when you didn't get the exam grade you wanted, helped you realize you weren't on your own kid, even at the hardest times, and overall feel a little more confident that you could get to today's finish line. Parents, family members, and friends, would you please stand so that the graduates can thank you. advising you through the labyrinth of course requirements, and even organizing this awesome ceremony. The teaching assistants helped you understand what the professor was actually trying to say, and the faculty delivered those wonderful lectures, helped you develop lifelong skills, and told a dad joke or two along the way. With the faculty, teaching assistants, and staff of the Department of Psychology and Neuroscience, please stand so that the graduates and their family and friends may acknowledge your important role in their graduation. You may be seated. Lastly, graduates, it was you that did the hard work. You stayed engaged in lectures even during the most exhausting times you demonstrated your knowledge in new and creative ways and showed compassion to your classmates. Most importantly, you somehow miraculously stayed on track during the last few years. We're grateful for all that you've done to get here. 
Would the graduates please stand so that your family and friends may acknowledge your success? Control the controllables. 
there are going to be a lot of things that happen in your next journey that are out of your control. And usually those are the things that cause the most stress. Instead, focus on what's in your control and let go of the rest. What you can control boils down to three things. Your actions, your concentration, and your effort. You get to decide what you give attention to, where you take action and where you don't, and how much effort you put into different areas of your life. I think that's an exciting way to think about your new journey. You can't control what other people are doing, what someone else thinks, or if there's a big snowstorm and you're supposed to be somewhere. But you can control where you put your focus, where you put your effort, and where you take action. So even if your new journey is full of uncertainty, you already know how to handle that. Being challenged as you move forward is a good thing. And when you find out what matters to you, remember to control the controllables. You can navigate the complexities of life with resilience and optimism. On behalf of all the faculty and staff in our department, congratulations. You have a lot to be proud of today. It's the beginning of a new chapter, and I hope you embrace it with joy. those who are graduating with Latin honors. The tradition, the tradition of Latin honors dates back to 1869 when Harvard College first began awarding final honors to its graduates. Then, a couple of years later, in 1872, they established two levels of honors, cum laude and summa cum laude. And finally, in 1880, magna cum laude was added, making the three levels we recognize today. The Arts and Sciences Honors Program at CU was established 92 years ago in 1931. It is one of the oldest honors programs at a public university in this country. In order to graduate with Latin honors in our department, uh, students must first must fulfill three demanding requirements. First, they must maintain a high grade point average, or GPA. However, unlike at some universities, a high GPA is not sufficient to graduate with honors at the University of Colorado. Second, the students must also complete an honors thesis, which is an original, independent, empirical research project done in close collaboration with a faculty member, usually taking at least one year or longer to complete. Finally, the student must successfully defend their written thesis before a committee of at least three faculty members. This oral defense is rare among honors programs at other universities and makes the College of Arts and Sciences honors program at CU Boulder one of, one of the most rigorous in the country. Based on their GPA, the quality of their written thesis, and their oral defense of it, the College of Arts and Sciences Honors Council awards each student one of three levels of Latin honors. <coughs> cum laude, with praise. Magna cum laude, with great praise. And summa cum laude, with highest praise. This semester, we are proud to announce that five of our psychology and neuro students were awarded Latin honors. I will announce each student's name, Latin honors designation, and the thesis advisor. So when I say your name, step forward and be recognized, and let's hold our applause until all have been recognized. Rachel Kamas, Magna Cum Laude, a thesis advisor, Dr. David. 
Hannah Marie Miller, Magna Cum Laude, thesis advisor, Dr. David Ruth, Harrison Bickle, Magna, uh, Summa Cum Laude, thesis advisor, Dr. Bob Spencer, Grace McDonald, Summa Cum Laude, thesis advisor, Dr. Sonia Bickle, Asimdria Zoya, so awesome. Uh, Zoe Sheets? No, I'm missing Zoe. Dr. Deborah Schultz. Wow, awesome. All right, so our last, <laughs> our last thing we allowed is just a substitution. So we're not afraid to make sure that the injuries get covered. Um, there's Elizabeth Alexandra Holmes Hunter, uh, who I believe is also a student from lab. Awesome. Uh, whose thesis advisor is Dr. Chris Slattery. Great, awesome. Thank you so much.
However, one quick note. Students are not in alphabetical order as they cross the stage, so you'll want to keep your eyes and ears out for your favorite graduate. Also, please consult the program for a full list of graduate names. Students, it's important to return to your seat after getting your picture taken. There's one more action we all need to take together. It's not over until the tassel has been flipped. Alright, let's begin. Woo! 